Yeah. I mean, what's funny about the whole Corona Apocalypse episode in general was, you know, he, Cody thought that we were going to feel so much sympathy for him. And I genuinely do feel sympathy for people who had um, COVID because it was incredibly difficult. Many people died. I mean, it, it is difficult. But what it really highlighted was the million and millions of inconsistencies in his story. So, you know, he's talking about how heartbreaking and how scary it was. But when Janelle had it, I didn't hear anything from him. I didn't hear interviews about how concerned he was or like no one ever believed he was going to nurse her back to health. But they just treated it like a little like a little bump in the path. You know, he didn't go over and deliver supplies. He didn't say how, you know, he didn't even get like, I'm so worried about her and her health. It just was nothing. And then when Robin had it and she did look sick. I'll admit that she wasn't dying, but she was sick. You know, it was, he was going to camp out at the hospital. He wanted to admit himself to be by her, which is ridiculous. They wouldn't have allowed it. That's not how that works. But one of the things that did come out was he was talking about how Aurora quarantined in the, in the basement, which probably wasn't real safe for her. Uh, if she had exposure already, she probably shouldn't have been going to school at all, but I'm not here to be the COVID police like Cody. Um, but you know, they talk about how she had a quarantine and she was away for 10 days and she came upstairs and where they were crying because they couldn't be together. And all that it really showed was like, you don't see your kids, your biological children for months at a time because you're mad at the mom, but we're supposed to feel a great deal of sympathy because Aurora couldn't hang out with you for 10 days. Like it's kind of creepy. I mean, you know, you're, he's trying to present it like this, like loving, it's so unbelievable, but it's like. Most people, when they're in college, many, many people go away. I didn't see my parents for, for weeks at a time. And some people don't see them for months. And I'm not saying that, like, that it's, like, weird that she was that upset. But it's weird that Cody has that level of, like, oh, I couldn't see her. And we were crying. And we were so upset. And then he routinely doesn't see Savannah for six weeks. When And I say this all the time, which is they said specifically when they went and dropped Isabel off on the East Coast and came back... Cody didn't want to see Truly, and he's like, and he drives by that house. That house is not far from the the McMansion they have. And he was like, well, I don't want to have to run into Christine. So he very easily discards these kids when he's unhappy with the mom. So I don't really believe that he has this amazing relationship with Robin's kids. I think it's, I mean, he said as much as convenience. She forces it upon them. She, you know, uh, makes them. (laughs) like him. We'll see. We'll see what happens long term.